This idea of lies and the question of deception. Now, you know, if you Google Project Veritas, you know, the very first thing, it's, it's, it's always sort of the attack on Veritas. Deceptive practices, deceptive practices, deceptive practices. They use deceptive editing and deceptive practices to interview, um, you know, to interview subjects. And they don't even realize they're being interviewed, you know, and, and me as as an intel officer looking at this, I say, well, you're just using elicitation. That's, you're not right. telling anyone to say anything. This is a basic investigative tool that's used in every single law enforcement agency, probably in the world. And uh, certainly every actual journalist should be trained in this process, the process of, of elicitation. Yet why is it then that, uh, that you believe they use this specific term for attacking Veritas? Well, they'll do, they'll say and do anything to attack Veritas, but I mean, yeah, there's a there's a great uh, quote in the chapter three of this book. It's all about deception. And what what I learned was that um, well, the, the quote is: the, if the use of undisclosed or false identities were wrong per se as a form of fraud or deception, we've we'd have to be willing to allow restaurants to sue restaurant critics, landlords to sue fair housing testers, and stores to, to sue secret shoppers who, as it turns out, <laughs> have no real intention to buy the product. I mean, give me a break. This is a question of relative deception. You have two choices if you're a journalist. You can present yourself as such to the powers that be. Hey, please tell me all the fraud you're committing. That'll work. Or you can present yourself as not a journalist and record as long as you're part of the conversation and tell the truth to the audience. And in a world where telling the truth to the audience is paramount, you have to choose the other path. What matters is the truth to the audience. You have to tell the truth to the people. And I will write a $10,000 check to anybody. And this is a true, I'll write a personal $10,000 check if you can name one example of a situation where I have lied to my audience. Going undercover is not lying to the audience. It's telling the truth to the audience by the subject not knowing that you you are a journalist, Jack. The three instances they always give is the Washington Post being compromised, me being arrested in New Orleans. Um, the uh, there, I, I don't even remember the third. Oh, pimp! I didn't wear the pimp costume inside the pimp in the office. Give me a break. Whenever we're burned or compromised, they jump to wild conclusions about our intentions. But our intentions are to tell the truth to the audience. And sometimes you have to wear a disguise to get people to be honest with you.